So in 2017, one of the things that we found really difficult was actually trying to organize one event as big as this in Kuala Lumpur. We did not know whether Malaysians are interested to join in such event anymore. We thought the hype was gone. Lah. Tapi Sarung merupakan satu acara flash mob awam yang diadakan bertujuan menggalakkan penggunaan pengangkutan awam dalam masa sama memelihara busana tradisional dan kita ikuti laporannya bersama Syaf Syukri. So kita pergi Sarung uh, is always about uh, secret location. Because the idea of kita pergi sarung is secret location Kita tak nak dia orang nanti Kalau kita announce awal Dia orang might as well just gerak sendiri kan Kita nak the, the idea of gerak ramai-ramai Berkumpul ramai-ramai Kereta pergi sarung uh, bermula dari 5 uh, stesen utama Dan pada pukul 9 pagi Semua pemakai-pemakai sarung Kita akan announce kita akan bergerak ke mana So on that day before kita bergerak tu Kita akan berkumpul Selalunya kita akan start I mean from Subang I'm a root leader from Subang Kita akan start dari lagu negara aku Bit of uh, ucapan not too formal and then then we announce kita akan bergerak ke Masjid Jamek. So kita dah letak dah orang-orang kita dekat sana untuk jaga the crowd. Kita mesti gamble je, kita tak tahu ada orang akan datang ke tak. So surprisingly at the morning kita dapat apa total for the station masa tu semua dalam 1200 orang. So kita daripada bawah tu daripada platform bawah kita akan gerak ke platform dan kita akan uh, to make sure that we tell volunteers that kita akan gerak naik satu kereta api yang sama. Cuma it happen masa first year 2017, Subang tu ada yang satu tim tu tergerak awal kejap. And fortunately, we have few friends yang tergerak awal tu. Kita telefon dia orang, dia orang stop dekat the next station, dia orang tunggu kita orang, then we, we ride the same train. Jadi semua orang bergumpul di stesen Masjid Jamik dan dari situ kita bergerak menuju ke River of Life. Time tu River of Life ni baru buka. So dekat situ kita orang pergi naik jambatan tu and then dekat situ kita ada macam nyanyi-nyanyi sikit. Dan di satu tempat di River of Life tu, kita duduk beramai-ramai dan di situlah uh, saya mula uh, bercerita berkenaan dengan uh, apakah itu Kereta Besarong dan apa tujuan Kereta Besarong pada tahun tersebut. And then kita orang berharap pula pergi ke Museum Negara. So dekat situ kita naik train dua kali. Satu ke River of Life, Masjid Jamil. Satu lagi ke Museum Negara. So sampai je kat Museum Negara, kita orang berkumpul kat situ and then kita orang buat nari-nari kat situ, nyanyi-nyanyi lagu. Kita ada banyak aktiviti yang kita sediakan untuk pemakai-pemakai sarung. Contohnya kita ada joget lambak, kita ada permainan permainan rakyat, kita ada kuis kenegaraan dan kita ada banyak hadiah yang kita telah sediakan untuk pemakai-pemakai sarung pada hari tersebut. To get to Museum Negara, if you take the MRT, you have to go through the underground tunnels. But we did not anticipate that we had to pay 50 cents to go through from KL Central side to Museum Negara side. So everyone had to pay 50 cents with their touch and go to pass through the MRT station. Lah. Because basically, there's no other way around. You cannot cross the road because it's a three-way road. Lah. That one was such a nightmare lah when I got to know that kena bayar 50 cents, I was like, what the heck, man? <laughs> Maybe sebab yang tu tahun pertama loko um, organise kereta pesarung ni. So, waktu sampai kat Museum Negara tu agak kelam kabut sikit. Sebab orang tak tahu sampai je kat Museum Negara tu nak buat apa. So, tak jelas kat situ. And then, ada dua tiga event yang berlaku pada yang rasa sama dekat Museum Negara. Kereta Pisah Rong pada 2017, kita ada berkolaborasi dengan uh, beberapa pihak. Ada pihak di sebelah sana tidak mengikuti perancangan awal, jadi melibatkan ada beberapa perkara yang menyebabkan ramai pemakai-pemakai sarung uh, beredar dari uh, Museum Negara. Mungkin salah komunikasi sikit atau something macam itu. Uh, tapi, at least Orang datang tu still dia orang rasa happy lah dapat uh, ambil gambar, dapat join. So 2017 was the start of how we start to figure out things on what can we do, what can we not do and also how should we do it. 
The planning was hard because we need to identify which kereta api that leads to museum negara. So the coordination of that, who would jaga this train station, who should jaga, and then we realised our our resources are not so big. So we involve volunteers. So we wanted to find volunteers. So we actually started off with Facebook and Twitter, and also friends that we know of that we think might enjoy being part of the ride. Then it became uh, more interesting and more challenging because volunteers they have uh, time constraint, dedication, and so on and so forth. But they actually they were very hype on it. They prepared a lot of activities. Uh, we underestimated them. First three volunteers for Kota Besarong was one Amalina, two Zul, and three Rebecca. These three has been with us Kota Besarong since the beginning. Our volunteers is very helpful, very. Uh, dedicated doing their works. Dia orang ada sampai tunggu dah kita orang dah joget-joget dekat museum negara pun dia orang baru sampai because dia nak make sure that participants pun tak dia left out. So to the volunteers, we love you. We were scared that our joget lambat wouldn't take off in the middle of museum negara and surprisingly it did. At that exact point, I think my heart dropped. Because everyone actually joined to dance, even though everyone was awkwardly trying to understand what is the point of this movement. When we started, like everybody was joining, so it was um, like a huge joget lambat party in a way. Okay. You see the Malay, the Chinese, um, us Malaysian basically doing joget. Some people don't know how to do joget. I don't know how to do joget. I seen it, but you know to do it, no. But you know we did it uh, in the name of fun, in the name of. Kereta api sarung in the name of Sayang Malaysia, in the name of Malaysia. And then at the end of it, when everyone is still dancing, we got it. It's the idea that we're all dancing together, no matter what race, what colour, what religion we are. And that for me is unity. It was sweet because it was in Hari Malaysia itself. So.